Do you guys see what's happening here? What is it, citizen? Can we talk about Centilla? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Sometimes fresh eyes help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. Did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Fine. All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. A new face. Are they? And may... Can I ask you some questions about escaping the underworld? Uh... I beg your pardon? Livy was right. We're in the underworld. Oh my. That is quite a lot to take in. You'll have to give me a moment. Let's see. If that is indeed the case... I suppose we'd better figure out what to do about it, hadn't we? We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod, her and so... May 4th... Back to it, and that's it. So a lot of these things seem to be based on just interaction. Uh, can I get over there? Do I have a way of help- of actually stopping him, for that matter? I have to ask Olpius, but I can only do that if I can stop him from dying, potentially? Maybe if I say that I saved her? Oh, this connects. I wasn't sure if it would. Sisyphus. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a gas. Actually, I really need to talk to Olpius. All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No! No, 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 no! Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there! If you lose your- That's- What? Why- I pl I'm so- Please, help! Thank is this what Centilla would want? You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help you solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. I already saved Yulia's life, and I'd like to help you too. Oh. Really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Actually, I do. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you, then. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us? couple of complete strangers. Of course. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Don't worry about it. 
I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. Yeah, all things considered, it was shockingly easy for me compared to how much of a problem it would be for you to do it. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's it for now? Okay. Well, I have one of these. Is this just going to stay there forever now? Can I read it? No. He is booking it. Hip. Oh, fuck. I think my character, like, auto-locked onto the hole last time. This time he did not. How far back is this? I think it probably auto-saved when I resolved it. Okay. Okay, so that works. The, um, yeah, the hole's not there, so he made that entire hole with his body? What the fuck? How heavy is he? Ow! Wah. Oh, that was the way down. Or, the beginnings of a way down. The zip line. Gotta go fast. Stuff like this just comes back every time. Another 250. It don't hurt to ignore, I guess. To not ignore. Whoa, 340. Guys, there's so much money just sitting around. Why do you guys... How, how were you in debt? Like, honestly. Why are there just chests with like a thousand denarii practically just lying around? And you guys are like, oh, I'll never, I'll never work past my bondage. Like, I understand that I had to do some tr time travel shenanigans to get my 5k, but... It seems like it's not that hard to pay off a thousand denarii here. Seems like it's just kind of all over the place. Hey, Dick. Citizen. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. How long did you spend carving that dick? Uh, are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. <sighs> Look, I... I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just... lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just... forget this ever happened. Will you? Alright, no problem? Eh? Oh man, my joint pain, it just made all the homophobia slip out. That's not normally there, not innate to who I am at all. That's why it just slipped out, because joint pain just makes you homophobic from scratch. Sometimes a great temple on Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's a Don't worry about the thr- Don't worry about the threats, it's just Rufius, and he's never going to hurt you. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Yes, and he won't be bothering you anymore. Really? How did you manage that? I found a treatment for his rheumatism, which was making him agitated and compounding some other personal issues. Ah, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. 
Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti too. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Nice to talk to you. I can probably change his vote now. It's probably the idea. Lion Tamer was the achievement. That's probably how you get him to change his vote, but first I need to make the new guy a candidate. And I already know I can change his vote because of the rheumatism cure. There's a few things going on in the R. Have I conned you or in another way profited from you yet today? Oh, you guys are gonna have the same conversation again? Okay, you guys have fun. Oh, shiny. Salve and welcome. Need something? Have you considered making bread on the table instead of under the table? All right. Thanks. Just a weird moment. She's always scrubbing the same spot. I still haven't asked Ulpius about Centilla's disappearance. Because the whole thing had to happen first. So I actually still need to catch up with him now. I guess he's in the slums? Or he's moving? He's moving. Shalom. Can we talk about Centilla? Centilla and I were in love. And then... 22 days ago... She went missing. Why don't you start from the beginning? All right. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the Magistrate's Villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt... hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and... she smiled. <laughs> I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her. And from the moment she asked my name, with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so, for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Is it possible she escaped somehow? All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody abducted her. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Raises the question of whether or not abducting is a golden rule violation. Any ideas about who might have taken her? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man I have ever known. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. I've never seen the inside of it, and I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. I'll get right on it. Let me know what you discover. Might be a different key than the one I already got? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, I haven't asked all of his stuff yet, huh? Shalom. What's your story? You mean where am I from and all that? Judea, originally. But when I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family. 
romanized my name and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans-Tiberim, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos, full of people with all their belongings in carts and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road and went to defend them. I can only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest by a river not far from here with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though, because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river, but not take my coins? Good on you for risking your life to help others. A lot of good it did me, and that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. Do you know a way out of here? I don't, but even if I did, I'm not going anywhere. I have unfinished business. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment, so I guess you're looking for a pithy summary? <laughs> you remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a Gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. Obliging, he replied, what is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Huh. Of course, what I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god, that's for sure. Good question. Thanks. I just wish there was a way to find out. So who are you going to vote for? Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Fair enough. I'll be going now. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Right. He counts as a citizen, apparently. I didn't think that he or the farmer would count at first, until I saw the farmer voting. Or not voting, but being able to vote. So I guess saving him also gives you another vote in favor of the farmer once you're ready to try to do that. Are you even solvable? Or is this just an always is this just your gambit where you're always act that this way in response to whatever people say? This is a bizarre way to brush. It's not quite not quite working, is it? <laughs> I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock, Caput murder. Oh, okay. Uh, are we still in the same timeline where you're mad at me? I don't remember, <laughs> actually. Ixian turns, just as the ocean. I figured out now where we are. Underworld. Then you were. <laughs> Friend, you have given me hope. May you follow in the footsteps of Hercules and return to the light of day. Nope, oh, that's it. No more talking to do with her for now. Can I find... the poisoned girl? Are they reunited somewhere? Is she less mad at me now that I've saved both of them, maybe? You do? I have no idea where they are at this point. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die in here? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me when you die, a fairy man helps you cross a river, and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that 
If you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Tartarus. Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus because they say I've been bad? I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, all right? All right, Galerius. See you then. We've got more reason to follow up on this, yeah. Let's see if we can figure out how to make him the candidate. Let's see if I can figure out the locked room then. I will say so far this is a little less explorative than I expected, and it's kind of just going from quest character to quest character. The most explory kind of things I've done so far were pretty much on rails and by instruction, more or less. More so than a, a natural uncovering of information. What if I have to steal the key, but then it ends that timeline and then I come back after? Nope, that key I have already unlocks it. Who's in here? You're not supposed to be in here. And yet. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. What, you're a fan? How would you like some help getting back at Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. Well, that flipped quick. I don't think Maliolus is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I am noticing that this is... this... Like, it starts at the Archer, and it becomes this, like, big, branching, uh, unfolding narrative that, like, all kind of starts that, that, that starting point. Like, the you, you, you figure out how to get the, uh, rid of the Archer by looping after you see that woman die, and then you get the bow, the bow and swap it for the golden bow, and then that leads to, like, the, the like, the dominoes that lead here. Like, the, uh, it's the, there's, like, a very, uh, it seems more linear than expected if you try to trace back the path, I think. I want to force him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen, I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. I've heard enough. Get out of here at once. Domitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. We both know that's not happening, because if we were being robbed, then, you know, other things would happen. That's a lot of money just sitting there. But no, claiming that you're being robbed is really silly in this in this universe for a lot of reasons. Was I, I was supposed to flatter her, basically? That's goofy. Alright, well I'm on to you, dickwad. Right, I can update him and tell him that that she's not here, because that's actually what I was looking for. And we can confirm that at least. But I'll have to come back later. Oi! How did you get in there, you cheeky little Sturkus? If I cop an earful from Maliolus, I'll be coming for you. 
And what are you going to do? Punch me and turn it into gold? Wow, very smart. My job's to defeat you, punk. You're not going to be the leader either when I'm done. Where is the lady? Oops, was poisoned. Shut up. I got into Maliolos' upstairs room, but there was no sign of Centilla. Really? I was sure he was hiding something in there. I feel like I've looked everywhere. At least, everywhere I could get to. There were still two places I've never been able to reach. First, the palace. If Navia managed to get in, then I suppose Centilla could have too. The only other place she could be is somewhere in the cistern network. I remember hearing that Dooley had been poking around in the upper cistern before he was locked up. So you could ask him about it, I suppose. I'll get right on it. Alright, friend. Thanks for the chat. So that's the next follow-up, then. How do you access the cistern? I don't entirely even know what that word means. <laughs> I can check. A tank for storing water, especially one supplying tra uh, taps or as part of a flushing toilet. I think... You just follow water, I guess? Or some of the water somewhere? That's just the, the river, though, right? Um, I'll just try to find his quest. Oh, I still have to get him out of prison, right. The vitru- the vitru- the vitreous man. Or I guess, mm, no, that's just- that's just virtue, virtuous. I was thinking of the Vitruvian man, because he's- he's bald. So he looks like, uh, like Da Vinci's sketch, but that's the wrong setting. I wonder if there's any hint on how to follow. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I ruined it by talking to her the wrong way. Which I guess just dooms me for an entire loop. Which means I need to save everybody again. Because I don't keep the money each run for sure. Uh, you again. Yeah, sorry for all the help I gave you. Whatever, I'll be, I'll be going. I guess you don't like me in this run because I'm technically not the person who saved you. Or I am still technically the person that saved you, but it's harder for you to know that I, that I did that. He has one coin? What? Oh, right, you're dead. That makes sense, you have to be dead. Cause that's how anyone gets here. Hmm. Create a time paradox. That's that's the way to get out of here. I'm trying to figure out who's trying to get out of here. You can tell you're su suspecting a lot of people. Domitius. How do I find Domitius? Salve. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Just like Diane. Domitius. Mm. It's hard to remember everyone's name sometimes. That's Georgius Veragil, right? Is Domitius the lead guy's captain? How come you're allowed a weapon you're and I'm not? What now? You know anything about Scintilla's disappearance? Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. And they keep coming back. If you know what I mean. <laughs> High five, bro. 
Yes, subtle, but I think I know what you mean. When Maliolus wins the election, whatever. What it was? What, what dialogue tree led to me offering something to him? Who are you gonna vote for? It? I think. Can I help in some We've way? We've already lined up. What's your story? The name's Demetrius. Why are you just like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. Okay, but you're nowhere near an arena. You want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. Wasn't I gonna bribe him? What leads to that conversation? Whatever. Just... People just keep coming back to me. <laughs> Alright. Where's the cisterns? I don't understand where the cisterns are. Don't have the perfect grasp on what places are. This is the manor. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? Do you know anything about Centilla's disappearance? Of course not. But as I always say, if Centius can't protect his daughter, how can we trust him to protect this city? What aren't you telling me? Look, if you're trying to find her... You may wish to check the cisterns beneath this villa. Demetrius says he saw a body there some weeks back. Of course, just to be clear, I take no responsibility for what happens to you down there. I'll be going. I trust you can see yourself out. Right, the cisterns were the creepy catacomb place full of evil, evil gold skeleton. All right, that's what we're doing next.